And with that drum roll, we are going to bring in our first guest. Welcome to One Love Radio. I think this is Mrs. Selenia Scott on the line. Is this Selenia? Yes, it is. Hi, Ryan. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm great. How are you? I am fine. Welcome to One Love Radio. I'm so glad you're on today. Thank you. Me too. You're coming in on a special topic for me, and uh, it, the, I dedicated this show to two of my friends, and I know that you have a friend that was going through the breast cancer um, process, and I have two yes. survivor friends from high school that I'm dedicating this show to. So, Amy and Christy, this show is for you and for and Selenia's Rachel. friend. And <laughs> yes, your friend, Rachel. Rachel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. We had to get that out of the way. I wanted to make sure we, uh, you know, give give make these ladies their out. yeah, give them that shout out because they they made it through a storm and and I see them. They they post a lot um, on Facebook what they're going through and I see that um, you know it's it's a really trying and 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 just emotionally damaging uh, process oh. to have to go through. So Absolutely. we appreciate you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank okay. you. <laughs> I didn't know what to play before you came on because, like, the whole pole fitness dance, is, I didn't know how to go about getting, I didn't know if I should play, like, you know, two live crew or just bossing over. I didn't know what to play. <laughs> so I said, let me just get a mixture of something and we'll, <laughs> we'll just work it out. Uh, <laughs> Well, I can tell you that um, in pole fitness, it's not a whole lot of two live crew going on. It's, it's more, um, it's very slow and sensual and very, um, like Maxwell, for example, and, you know, very romantic, kind of just to get the woman in a beautiful mindset, not not so much about dropping it like it's hot, although that's fun and it definitely has its place in the in the class. But, you know, mostly it's about, um, you know, drawing in your inner strength, kind of getting out of your own head and tapping into that, you know, soft spot in your heart, mind, body, and spirit and really letting that come through and shine um, in your movement. Uh, and I see how how it's, it's beneficial because yeah. um, just talking to my friends, um, there's a certain femininity they feel like they've lost because of this situation. And I remember talking to my aunt who's, you know, has passed on from breast cancer and that was one of her pride and joys. It, it, you know, it was her breast. And when she was younger, that's who she, that's what she was known for. So when it was taken away from her, when they, she had a, a double mastectomy and when they were taken away, I could see the change in her mentally. You know, it was like somebody yeah. took her best friend away, her her asset. So I see where something sensual and something. Um, and you know, and it's not, and it's yes, it's about the breast, and you know, and that's a big part of our femininity, but also our hair. Right. You know, the, um, the way we feel about our crowns. You know, you you lose that, and you feel, you know, you can feel less than, and even though you're not, you know, and and. and from an outside person looking in at someone who's fighting the battle with breast cancer, all they see is a courageous, bright, wonderful, strong human spirit. They don't see, you know, how, you know, you may be feeling inside about how you're not feeling pretty, you're not feeling yourself, you're not feeling as strong and as sexy as you once felt for yourself. And so that's kind of where... um, you know, where getting into exotic movement and pole dance really can kind of help you find that place again within yourself. Oh, no, I think I'm going to try it. But I've seen these girls on poles sometimes, and, and they have incredible thighs, and they have, like, the skinniest legs ever in the history of a person. <laughs> and so <laughs> I don't see how my thigh can grip that pole. But it looks like it is so much fun. And and I see, you know, it I used is. to be a dancer, so... I, I can see the sensuality in it, and I can and I can actually see the the actual um, athletic benefits of of mm-hmm. uh, whole fitness. And uh, it's funny. I'm, I I just have to regress for a minute. A couple of years ago, Rolanda Watts came out um, on her Facebook page, and, and she had the stripper pole Barbie on there. <laughs> she, was, she, she 
she was losing her mind about it. And actually, she made me want to go sell all my Barbies. But, <laughs> but <laughs> you know, I see that it has come into its own, and it is um, the the stigma of the stripper has been washed away, and the actual fitness per- portion of this. Uh, what, what do you call this? Group. Dance? What do we call it? Dance? Do we call it fitness? What do we call this? It's it's pole fitness. It's fitness. Okay. Yeah, pole fitness. Um, you know, a lot of people have been calling it um, the vertical gymnastics um, as well because it's really gotten to be um, such a sport and very competitive as well um, throughout the pole community. It's there's a number of competitions. There's a pole federation that actually, um, you know, monitors um, the names of the movement and um, how it should be stylized and, you know, experted. So it's kind of, it's, you know, it's getting, getting very, um, you know, organized, I should say. There's still some ways to go with that, but it's definitely um, not what you imagine from your, you know, strip club thinking of, you know, men just throwing dollars at women. It's definitely changed from that. Okay. I'm glad, too. I'm glad. I mean, because, I mean, it is, it's athletic. It's, I'm sure it's good for you, both body, uh, you know, and mind, and just, just to feel sexy. I mean, there's some days my hair is gone, and I'm just like, uh, I can't, you know what I mean? And so I can imagine these ladies, and I've rocked the Jeanne look when it was in style, so I know what it's like to have um, short hair, and I know the stigma that comes with it, it society-wise. So, you know, even though I, you know, it was a style at the time, a lot of people as- associated that with me having cancer, and so I know how um, people look at you kind of, they want to sympathize with you, but they don't know really what's going on, you know? And so I, I just think that this is it's a wonderful thing. And then to partner up with Living Social, and I happen to be a member, and, and I actually love the company, so I was even more excited that you were coming on. Um, how did you, um, how did this partnership start? Um, well, I started PinkPoleParty.org about three years ago, and I was doing it part-time, really part, part, part-time, because I worked a full-time job, I was a you know, pole instructor, and I had a family, and I had this passion to raise money for breast cancer. So I had, I was juggling a number of things, and I I was successful with my pole parties. I would host probably, um, you know, one a quarter, so, you know, for a year. And that, for me, at the time was a lot, um, you know, just juggling everything, full-time job, et cetera, et cetera, and doing, you know, breast cancer walks and then raising money that way as well. So I was just had a lot going on, um, and I got laid off my job about three months ago. And it's funny because you got to be careful what you ask for because I said to, to the universe, I said, I really wish I had more time. To do and they gave it to you. <laughs> they gave it to me, honey. They <laughs> laid me off, and I was looking up like, what has happened? And I talked to my husband, and we sat down, and I said, look, no, I'm not going to look for another job. I I have a job, and I feel like it's a calling, and it's certainly a passion of mine, and I really want to, um, you know, get the word out there about what it is I'm doing, how I'm creatively fundraising, and see if I can get it to pay me a salary. You know, I, I you know, let's see. How's it so, going? Well, I haven't made a salary quite yet, um, okay. but it's it's a, and I doubt that I will for a little while. It's going to take some time um, to really grow and get a little bit more momentum and do a little bit more, um, uh, you know, publicity wise. But I feel like it will get there it, uh, eventually. Um, I'm going to add another layer to what I'm doing that will be not nonprofit. It will be a for profit, which will be some event planning, but circling back. So pinkpoleparty dot org, um, I just put, you know, hundred percent into it. I actually contacted Living Social, asked them if they would be interested in running my events and they they were, but they wanted me to have more events. 
um, you know, it wasn't enough to just have, like, one event. You right. know, because my events are small. They're boutique events. Really, you know, it hosts 20 ladies at the most per event. Okay. So that's not a lot, you know. Um, and so now we're on schedule to do 24 parties, and I'm hoping to sell all 24 parties out. Um, and we'll see what happens. I mean, I'm working really hard to keep pushing and, and uh, getting the word out there. I'm just so happy that, um, you know, Living Social just has a really great local reach um, right. to women around Los Angeles. And so that, for me, is the biggest step ever. I, I'm okay. I would teach these pink pole parties for free, zero dollars, and just to have, you know, that reach that um, that this opportunity is giving me. So I'm just um, very grateful for that. And here we are. You know, now I'm with you on this radio show, and I've had some other um, opportunities, and I hope more will, be, you know, come. And the proceeds from this is going to the American Cancer Society? Yes, the, the American, yes, the American Cancer Society has um, – many outlets for cancer, different types of cancer. Um, For me specifically, it's going to be the Making Strides to End Breast Cancer campaign that the American Cancer Society has, which is very specific because all the money and proceeds that go to that particular campaign um, go to breast cancer specific. So it's not like just all cancers or, um, you know, where they kind of divvy out and, and kind of section off stuff. No, everything that's raised through this campaign goes specifically to the breast cancer research and finding a cure, and that's my passion. And so that's what we're working towards this go-round. Okay. Now, give us the information where we can find you. Okay, first, how much are the packages? Got to know that. (laughs) And you're only in L.A., right? You're only exclusively in L.A., so I'm bummed. Yes. Yes, I'm only in L.A. for now, but see, there's okay. room to grow. Um, could be a pool party coming near you, you know, next year sometime. We don't know. So All right. That, I'm looking that's forward. Like, yeah. So they're $59 with Living Social. Um, they're two-hour events, and you um, come in. I teach you some pole dance moves, a little lap dance moves, some exotic dance, have a lot of fun socializing, drinking pink champagne, having chocolate-covered strawberries, and just having a very lovely um, event. There will not be – you're absolutely welcome to make an additional donation at the event, but your donation is really already paid for when you you purchase a ticket through Living Social. So um, those proceeds are going at 100% to the Making Strides to End Breast Cancer campaign. And – there will be little gift bags and little prizes and things like that that you can win when you come to um, one of my events. And they're starting October 26th every weekend, starting October 26th through November 18th. So um, there's lots of dates to choose from, a couple of different time slots to choose from. And, again, they're $59. And what else can I tell you? You can go to www.pinkpoleparty.org. Um, that's my website. Yeah. Um, I'm also on Facebook, facebook.com slash pinkpoleparty.org. And I'm all over. You can check me out. You can go to Living Social as well um, and find the Pink Pole Parties there um, on their website under events. So, Lenny, I'm going to call you when I come to L.A. and um, I do – I do camps every year, and this year, because of Amy and, and my friend Christy, I told them when they got better and they were strong enough to paddle that we were mm-hmm. gonna we were going to go surf for survivors. So I'm going to do a surf for survivors clinic in Los Angeles oh, this I summer. Do that. I've so I want you to keep in touch too. with me. I want you to keep yes. in touch with me. And actually, you can, if, you leave, if you email me the schedule for, for your classes, we'll add it to your, to your uh, feature that's on the OneMagazine.com okay. website so that people know exactly when to go and schedule. Because a lot of people, you know, they don't want to go on Living Social. But if they see the schedule, okay, boom, and then they can go straight there. But I do want you to be a part of the Surfing for Survivors next summer, and I definitely 
would like for you to come back and tell me how this event goes, these events go. And yes. uh, thank you so much for coming uh-huh. on. It's so important for me um, to get this message out to women. And I've been wanting to do a breast cancer awareness show forever, and nobody gave me an excuse. So here's here it is, you guys. Yeah, they get mad at me when I. You're welcome. I get mad when I pick shows. If it's not funny, they don't want to deal with it. Um, But (laughs) I'm so glad that you came, and it's a serious topic. And 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 I just can't thank you enough for helping out. Um, I appreciate you um, taking this opportunity with me. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And we'll be in touch. We'll be. We'll be in touch. You have a you have a good one. Have a blessed day. This one love radio. Bye bye. Bye.